Hello everyone, back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss that how we can create a barcode using Python. So earlier we have seen that how we can create a Wi-Fi QR code. Now this time we'll see that how we can create a barcode. Okay. Now before going to create the barcode, we'll see the what are the uses of the barcode. Now why one should create a barcode? See. First of all, barcodes are widely used across various industries uh, for identification, tracking purpose, managing the data. Okay. Now, I'll give you one example. Okay. And then you will know that what is the use of the barcode. Okay. See, first of all, the in inventory management. Okay. When you do inventory management, then the pop in the inventory management the purpose of creating the barcode is that it helps in keeping the track of inventory levels locations and the movements of your item now how it works there how the barcode works in inventory management system see each time in inventory uh, is labeled with a barcode so that barcode represents that particular uh, information about that product okay now when you scan the barcode with the barcode scanner so that will update the inventory system in real time okay now what is the benefit from that see the benefit is that that first of all it reduces the human error okay then it speeds up the inventory counts also just directly when you scan it it just automatically update it okay so that is also there then it ensures accurate tracking of the stock okay means how many particular products are left okay in our stock so it represents that also now we can take one more example for understanding it more clearly see in tracking and logistics okay you must have ordered some item or you must have sent some item to anywhere in the world okay so you will see that each time you will send some item or you receive some item, there is a barcode on your package okay now what is the purpose of that so that barcodes facilitates the tracking of goods throughout the supply chain from manufacturing to delivery it means that when you just order something so from that factory to reach to you that tracking that barcode facilitates the tracking of that particular good okay then how it works that barcodes are scanned at various points okay suppose what are those points suppose in warehouses trucks or at the delivery points they are scanned at each time you have seen also okay so that helps in tracking the movement of the goods now what does this benefits it benefits that it provides a real-time visibility of the product in our supply chain that we can clearly see that it has reached to this location then this location and then that location and then to our houses okay then it reduces the loss and emplacement of the goods and improves the delivery accuracy also so these are the these are the use cases of the barcode that why barcode are used okay now we'll not go that much in detail i hope you've understood the use of barcode now let's begin with our programming so we can create barcode using python so for that there is a library called barcode python dash barcode so we have to import that library so for importing that library we can just simply write pip install okay python dash barcode so when you run your cell it will take some seconds and then it will return you the message if it is already installed it will say that requirement already satisfied if it is not it will collect some modules and then it will be installed now let's come to our main programming see we have imported several methods and libraries so first of all we have imported the very own barcode library okay then from the module barcode dot writer we have import a method image writer okay which is used to convert the barcode in image format okay now this is the use of this method image writer which is present in the barcode dot writer then we have used one more library that is ipython dot display and from that we have used a method image and a method display now what are the uses of this this image will be uh, for um, to once the image is saved to read the image in our jupyter notebook itself these two libraries will be useful we'll discuss it when it'll come in the program okay now let's begin with our code see first of all from the barcode 
we have used the method called as get underscore barcode underscore class okay now this method is to use for defining the class of that barcode now yes you heard it right there are many classes in barcode and it depends on different different types of countries also okay and suppose if in japan then it uses jn in united store in in united states is use ean13 this ean13 is a class which has 12 digit number okay so based on that 12 digit number it just uh give a number to our barcode okay our product now why it is 13 the 13th number is given by the library itself okay so we don't need to give 13 the 13th number is all is given by the library itself so we have to put only 12 custom numbers okay now what we are doing we are just specifying the class now when we have specifying the class that particular class barcode is now present in this barcode underscore format okay then we are taking a barcode number okay and we are providing our numbers in a string format then after that we are using this barcode format and we are providing this number in that and the second parameter is writer we are defining the writer okay and we are mentioning this image writer over there okay it means that this barcode will be get converted into an image yes and then we are storing it in an object barcode underscore image now for saving the file we are just giving a file name and location that where we want to store our uh, the barcode file which will be stored as an image in dot png format so for that we have just given this location okay and then we are using the save method okay to save this barcode image along with this file name the file name which we have stored in a string format that we are giving here so that the save image will save our barcode image at this location with this file name with this barcode underscore image file name okay now it will be stored as a dot png format now for displaying it for displaying it in a very own our jupyter notebook cell so for that what we are doing for that we are using the display and the image method now how this display and the image both works together i'll tell you so this image uh this image functions takes a file name okay and for dynamically giving the file name i have just used the f strings okay you can see i have given the extension dot png okay so barcode underscore file name now this image mass function will do what it will convert this file name as an image okay and then then display method will read this image okay so whatever this image will provide this display method will be read it and display it in a readable format in a human readable format okay so this is the use of this two image and display okay now let's just do what let's just execute our cell so now you can see a barcode has been created with the following name which we have given here okay and it has been saved at that location also so let me show you the location too so now you can see with the barcode underscore image okay this image has been stored in the file location also and we can see it over here also so this is how you can create a barcode using python i hope that this video finds very useful for you guys so thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the next week